we are on a death world we are trying to do all of the achievements we have an hour and 36 left we now we now have air quotes nuclear power we don't actually have nuclear power yet because we don't have the heat in the reactors uh, but that's partly what we did last episode go us uh, actually give me this back because we don't need to we still got build range on it it's fine um yeah the other things we did last episode were we've got like this mixed build which has nothing in it but a ton of steel we're going to be fine for steel and we've got this wall that doesn't have radar but is a nice solid wall behind which we are mining some some coal we are mining a bunch of iron we probably could be mining more iron oh well and we are also mining we're mining some uranium we, have, we are using the oil that's powering the flamethrowers that we are refining to gas just with basic oil processing on site from which we are making sulfur and the acid directly into... So this is this is like a standalone thing because I didn't really want to run an acid pipe over here as well. Uh, we still have to drive over here and pick up this nuclear fuel when it gets made. Oh well. Uh, but we... How much iron do we have in there? There's not a whole lot of iron left because that iron is making both the acid and also the fuel cells but it might not be the main problem the might pro the main problem might be that we just need to get the outposting done and get more copper in and all of that kind of stuff because we've got an hour and a half left to launch a rocket but i think the thing we're going to do first is yeah we're going to do a small purple science build because we have adjusted the plan already to try and get um, yeah, to try and get nuclear power into this thing. Uh, yeah, so all of all of those furnaces got done. None of these bots are complaining about stuff. They're all fueled and ready. We just need to drag in materials, which is nice. Uh, we also don't really have a lot of... We don't need that steel. This was kind of mall steel. And the thing we wanted to do is... Uh, do we have... I do have prod mods on me. Okay. Uh, we're going to go and put the purple science, I guess, here. Because we've got... This belt here, which is, uh, if we've got, do we actually have the stone and the buffers at this point? Uh, where even are these buffers? Here. It does look like we have a lot of stone in buffers, which is cool. We're making these, f we're making way too many of those furnaces. Um, that is also why we don't have as much steel, but also whatever. Maybe we could just turn that into wall and run military science again, although that's copper limited as well. Never mind. Um, we probably had a bunch of these mining drills that just needed to be shut down. Uh, but also whatever, like most of the stuff, actually the, the patch mining and the gear production is not... Is currently only supported by the starter mining which is kind of running out and yeah we put a lot of we put a lot of gears in the overflow oh well um, yeah so we'll force more materials in there the copper is also still doing a thing copper is kind of fine uh, yeah we need to go and build a purple and yellow sites for which we have um, hey here's here's a bunch of iron for which we can just have we can just have ourselves um, Like, this can just be half a belt of poles. That's going to be fine. Um, and we actually want this on the other side of the belt. Uh, we want it on the opposite side to the stone so that we can put a splitter here and go opposite side to the bricks so that we can go stone on the right. And now we have a belt with some of the rail ingredients and then somewhere we have a red chips buffer at which point we are just gonna yeah just I guess we just grab all these um get get in the trash request it's fine we will unpack these differently elsewhere because uh, yeah here we want red circuits and here we are going to be making the electric furnaces and then steel is also just going to be a separate line we've got some steel over here we've got steel also actually going down there we could probably yeah we have to branch steel maybe over here that might be easier um but let's also just did we yeah we yeah do do a build do a build it'll it'll be fine um rail into purple science uh, and then we want we are going to do the sushi thing it's a good plan 
but I don't think we bother doing all of the transitional elements yet. Yeah, out here, in there, um, we also want yellow science. Yellow science? Please, yellow science. Um, with some prod mods. Uh, those guys are in the wrong place. They have to be back one. And then these are also... Yeah, that one's the output. This one's the input. Uh, then... We have stack size modifiers, so we might not even need to do that. Uh, but we're going to have... Oh yeah, I was going to do this with long handles, wasn't I? We're going to have... Uh, that's in the wrong place if we're doing it with the long headers, but we've got bots, so it's fine. Uh, we want four inserters uh, for the material for which we have... We want both sides, and then the steel belt here can be... Uh, how are we going to make all of this work? I guess we could have done this other ways and didn't. Um, here, we are just going to make um, electric furnaces. That's going to be the plan. And we have some of these. Yeah, let's, let's just go like, maybe we need fast inserters? I don't think we're going to need... Do we actually need... Maybe we do. There's quite a lot of stuff, isn't there? Um, we'll give it fast inserters anyway. You'll be fine. Um, let's not do it there. Let's go... And then let's get four of... This is in a terrible position. Um, but it's fine, because we've got bots. Uh, so we can all just move that over there and not worry about it. And then this thing, after all, doesn't go there. It goes over here. Good job being in a hurry and doing things kind of badly. And then we can have a steel belt that goes through here. Uh, yeah, the steel is going to be interesting and messy, but never mind. We still do have, yeah, have more bots. Uh, and then steel. Uh, we also have a pile of prod mods. This is all of the builds we need, and we only need that many because the goal is very much to get... We have steel. We have steel in the inventory. Um, and then we can also have just some over here, I guess. And put this stuff in places. And then the other steel we've got is down here, which we can grab like so... Uh, not like that, we've got to go there. Okay, and then we want these guys to be able to output a thing. And then we want all of... Actually, it's going to go into... Is it going into box? It's not going into box there at all. It's just going to go along the belt. And... Yeah, we do need to do the sushi control for some of this, but also don't really worry about it. Um, this is... That control is really not what I need to be worried about doing at the moment. Um, give it all prod mods. Give it all steel furnaces. Where did they go? And yeah, that's... Let's unpack the sushi at this point. Uh, do we have these guys? We do. Okay, this might end up being in the way, but we'll deal with that later. We want to be filtering out purple science. We want to be filtering out yellow science. Uh, we want both of these the other way around and we want those in boxes we can use steel chests because we've got steel chests apparently and then this wants to make its way into the labs which is exciting I guess uh, I was expecting this to need undergrounds so we're gonna do it with undergrounds um, but not there to here and then we want these inserters, and then this pattern wants to continue. And that's going to be purple and science into the labs. We need the beacons, we need more labs. Uh, we kind of need speed, we kind of need speed modules. I reckon we straight up just pivot all of these guys to speed modules. Um, yeah, that's going to be probably more rod mods than we need um, for everything else we 
we're doing, maybe. Uh, okay, we've got to get the rest of this stuff running, though. We need... Yeah, you guys, I gave you all prod mods tonight. I gave you a ton of prod mods. Uh, somewhere we've got to get... Yeah, just get out of my box for the moment. Uh, because we need to do the rest of these sushi controls. Uh, can we do one... I guess we can... We can lead, need about this much space, and we want prod mods on the right, and we want we want circuit condition stuff. We do not have circuit condition stuff yet, and that's going to make this a little bit interesting. Uh, the solution to that is actually we just need to go and get circuit condition circuit control stuff. Uh, make me a bunch of copper coils. Um, you do that as well, and then we can have one here that is making me some circuit controls and sure uh, we actually only need one didn't we because by the time we copy and paste um, things are going to be fine and then this only inserts if we have less than 20 actually the thing I decided was we definitely need to be why are you not you're not getting steel because we missed that inserter um, sure yeah, we actually need to be getting 47. Hand feeding is not really what we want to be doing, but we will uh, because we can. Uh, this is going to go like so, and then this feeds back in. Uh, prod mods, also prod mods, good. Uh, here, we're going to have one that is electric furnaces. Uh, this is actually going to turn this way. And so this one can check whether or not electric furnaces are less than 20. And now we've got sushi controls for both prod mods and electric furnaces. Where are my prod mods? Here are my prod mods. Um, prod mods. And we've also got a place that we can automate further prod mods in when we get them. Uh, and that is Purple Science fully sushied. Purple Science doing automation three things which is super cool. And um, for the, the next stuff, we need to make sure we have mining. We should probably, and uh, we don't need to worry about labs yet. Uh, we need to figure out whether or not any of these places had, so that entire network has 103 wall. Um, this entire network has 89 wall. The base itself isn't even making wall. Um, so, uh, then this, this network over here also still has 72 walls. So we, yeah, the next thing to do is, actually the next thing to do, because these guys are definitely running now, is cut off this, actually let's not, let's not cut it off, yeah, let's cut it off there, whatever. And we will save all the solid fuel, and then also this power plant here we also don't need, and that is going to be massively improving our pollution profile. Um, let's also get the labs... Actually, because these are prod mods, um, that box may as well be a... Oh yeah! You know what would be a really good idea for us to actually build is not just the sushi control for some part, but actually the sushi control for all of it. Um, are we gonna sushi... Yeah, we're gonna sushi... Uh, that's kind of necessary to make everything work. This one is going to be blue chips, and this actually the this one is going to be drone frames. And neither of those need. Yeah. Are we actually we kind of skipped this this control, so it's. And it's also a different kind of box, so we don't pick up the circuit condition. Cool. Uh, this... Yeah, so that, that, that sushi will tidy itself up, it's fine. Some of these are going on the inside, some of them are going on the outside, and that's also cool. This wants to... this is not something we need to worry about yet. Um, we could get the... We need to be getting the other copper in. And I think this means that, yeah, the other thing we need to do, which is pretty important, is that steel in that buffer. Um, give me all of these. That steel in this buffer over here all needs to be... Yeah, we've got a bit of, a bit of rogue coal, it's fine. Um, unpacked as well. 
And also, uh, which way are we going to do this? I think we're going to make a mess. I think everything about this is probably going to be a mess. Uh, we need this steel, like, here, or something. And then we've got other places we can add steel. Uh, all of this, yeah, so this steel over here is now unbuffering. Uh, the perb, the blue science, we've got 2.3k blue science. I think that's nearly enough. I think by the time we work through all of this, all of this red science, all of these red chips, I think that's probably going to be close to enough blue science for the entire thing. Uh, this box here can, actually that one, it's not going to work, um, but this mining drill assembler can make us some labs. Um, give me all these mining drills. Yeah, so we've got all the mining drills we need. Actually got a lot more prod mods than we need. Um, all the prod mods can go over here. Okay, um, purple science is happening. We've actually got the assembler threes now, uh, so that's pretty big. Uh, one of the things I did want was to be better prepared for this transition into... Yeah, we're also getting a ton of modules there. Um, being better prepared for this transition into... Like, having a lot more assemblers and being able to upgrade things to Tier 3 assemblers as soon as they arrived. And we kind of haven't really got that done. Okay, so... I guess we just go into prod mod 3 stuff. And that's going to be enough to upgrade all of these guys. And this is the reason why we have got this somewhat weird one-to-one -one rails to purple science thing going on. It's a bit funny. It's probably fine. Um, and then do we get more of these? The yellow science is somewhat easier to upgrade. Um, yeah, remember when the thing we really needed to do was be getting the rest of the outposting online? Um, how many rubber ports do I have? Five rubber ports? We are going to need... Given that a while ago we concluded that we did not have the landmine, we did not have the walls to do this next thing with flamethrowers, and I also don't know that we have the flamethrowers either. Uh, what we need to do is run over here and grab probably some cliff explosives, but also just a lot of landmines. And we're going to tuck those into the trash slots so that we don't have to deal with that. And then we need we need all the things we usually need for mining outposts. We need belt. We are going to probably need more... We are going to need more rubber ports, which we've got down here. Uh, let's take some radars. Let's take those rubber ports. Uh, we gave away a lot of bots, didn't we? Give me, give me a lot of bots back. Uh, who else? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. And then we want. Yeah, we've got a lot of a lot of kind of junk and stuff. Um, sure. And also wood. Sure. Uh, let's keep. Yeah, whatever. Fuel is going to be an interesting thing. Um, we need a couple of splitters. We need a bunch of undergrounds. Uh, we are going to need all of the wall, all of the belt. But probably not yet. We've got the mining jewels. We've got efficiency modules. Uh, we don't have enough power poles. So that's going to be a thing that we use the car for. That's going to be how that works. Uh, we also aren't... Yeah, we also don't have beacons. I mean, we have the beacon tech. But we do not have beacons in play yet. Uh, power poles is the thing we wanted. Yeah, all of this is kind of filled up. Um power poles are all the way over here. The, um, the starter sushi has not like significantly backed up. Maybe it would later. Uh, do I have any wood? No. Uh, interesting. Um, we can solve that in a very traditional way just by, hey, these, these trees have always been in my way. Um, do we actually have wood in the network? Yes. Which is a problem because it's not in that chest, which means that, that wood is not going to the chest that we just asked it to. Oh well. We are going to presume that it's fine. We don't need to peek in these labs until later. Um, is that true? Uh, this is a 60 second tech. It's just, yeah, we've just got more labs than we need. We haven't beaconed things. Things are just slow. It feels pretty bad. Never mind. Um, 
yeah we've got we've got all this stuff prepped to be doing mixed build stuff with but we're also not yet and it feels pretty bad we are just going to run all the way is that true we're going to run all the way over here to this mine we've got we've got a couple of rubber ports one can have one can go here uh, another rubber port can go i reckon here is going to be a good place and we've got this kind of a bit of a gap between us and the biters so we might get away with this and that we also don't really have all that many other like options uh yeah a bunch of these a bunch of this stuff some of these efficiency modules have more efficiency modules have bots um have landmines and this blueprint uh yeah we actually want to put a landmine in the middle of it and then blueprint this again and this is the blueprint we actually want to use for all of this stuff and that's a provider chest that's not going to work you guys want to be a storage chest okay um let's pretend that things are okay that didn't work because this blueprint also needs to snap to the grid Uh, we are mining a bunch of stuff. How many is that? 112. Uh, that's probably close to what we need, to be honest. Um, because we are not super well organized at this point anyway. Uh, let's put some mines. Where is... A good spot for mines? Because it is still a death world. And we are currently not defending this with flamethrowers, which is questionable uh did we get we did actually build we did actually build that out to the coast which is fine uh, do we actually we actually built it out to the coast in both directions um so i think we just we just kind of do this and we presume that that's good enough and more mines are going to go kind of around here and this is yeah actually we we don't need any more mines on our person. You just get to have all of the mines. Because... Did we run out of power poles? We ran out of power poles? Um, no, bots just haven't built it yet. Uh, we don't worry, need to worry about having any other mines. Because the other mining outpost of iron doesn't need mines. Because we've actually got flamethrower defense. Uh, we probably do need radar though. So let's have a radar here. This isn't even all the copper. Uh, we can just deal with the rest of that later uh, and then the main thing we need this for is like blue chips i guess yeah this is going to be annoying to subsequently mine uh did we just depower everything we kind of did give me some of these And then we've just got to outpost this normally, I guess. Uh, we did actually want five lines of copper, though, didn't we? Um, oh, well. I guess we're just taking five lines of copper. Did we? So we've still got the car. We can still get attacked in other directions, but it's probably fine. Um, oh, no, we've got, we've got the other... We do have the other copper outposts, so maybe we just compress this. Is that true? That's not true at all. We're going to worry about that later. Uh, we are just going to try and get all of this stuff in to the furnaces. Um, is that true? I don't think that's quite true. I think we need to wander back over here. Bots having jobs, 67 mining drills. Um, are these guys all... You've got nearly enough mines. And I reckon... You, you know what? You can have all of... That's probably still... Yeah, I think we do actually just... Yeah, I was trying to figure out if we go and mine the iron at the same time. And the main thing we need... One of the main things we need iron for is just a whole lot of steel. And we've kind of already got that on the way anyway. And uh, we just have... Yeah. We're going to kind of run into the other copper patch. That's fine. We don't have a whole lot of time left 
to get the rest of the yellow science done. Um, but it turns out, maybe not surprisingly enough, because we've been here for ages and just cached a lot of materials, that we actually had all the purple science just straight up done for everything we needed. That's... Uh, that was silly, never mind. Yeah, and then we are close to the section. Are we close to the bit? We need to go over to the left only a little bit more. And then, yeah, that middle belt is silly. Maybe we tidy that up later. Uh, we also, yeah, we don't have all five belts yet. We were going to compress it and then uh, maybe, maybe we would want to pass this with... Um, a personal robot at some point later. Okay, the only other tech we actually need, like we don't really need other techs other than straight up RCUs and rocket silo. That's that's what we got to do. And um, what we are going to do is wander back over here because we've already got the we've already got the robot here. So oh, we've also got mines in the middle of this bl blueprint. Never mind. Um, how many is this? 60, that's more than we need, because we've got mining productivity. Uh, so have um, not quite that many, which is fine. See, this this spot already had mines, so already had, um, whatchamacallit, bots, and also has all the flamethrower defense. Do we, we also have a radar. Look at how well prepared he, he lied. Um, did we actually not give you belt? Did we, I thought we gave you belt. Yeah, we gave you belt. Uh, and then, yeah, we're just going to bring in these two lines of stuff at the same time. Uh, these are also mines that are not running out ever. Uh, did we also connect this to power? Because we should. All of those are running except for a couple. It's fine. Did we have surplus? We did not have surplus efficiency modules over here, but that's also, you know, whatever. Uh, we are nuclear powered at this stage, so that's also kind of fine. And now we just want to get these belts of stuff into the mixed build. Steel has been going for ages. Steel is fine. Are we going to run out of belt? We are going to run out of belt. I need to go back, but we also should have just a lot of belts because we did set them all up for that. Uh, okay, we gave away all the underground belt, which is also kind of fine. Yeah. Uh, okay, a forest that I think I knew was there. I probably at some point knew was there. And then just kind of didn't really expect somehow. Uh, the copper is still stuck a bit further away, but I think we are going to need to go back for more belt before we get the copper in, which is a shame, because the copper is the thing we really need. The copper is the thing that will make the speed modules and the LCUs, LCUs, LDS and RCUs, and things like that, which we also just need to get made. Um, okay, so this, these two are iron. We can have one in here and one in here, and we have 170 belt left, and definitely need to go and get that belt for more copper. And yeah, we are just making all the purple science. It's pretty fine. And um, we've got steel. We also need to save. We also need to save silo steel and LDS steel. But we are kind of fine there. I reckon we're going to be okay with that. Uh, we want all. We want all of the belt. We're going to have. We have not made all that much belt. Super interesting. Why? I guess because we've only got this one belt thing. Okay. Sure. Fine. Whatever. That's inconvenient um, to the, yeah, inconvenient to the point that we're going to start making more belt um, why uh, this one here can also just make belt and we're going to have a lot of belt because we've got to do mixed build things to do as well um, so that's going to be you know what you also get to make if I can limit a chest properly um, okay so we're going to have a lot more things making belt, which is going to let us do mixed build stuff when we get there. I think we have to have to swing past the sushi as well, which feels pretty bad. Swing past the sushi to also get 
the belt that is at the sushi build that might have backed up because it has been a bit of a mess. Uh, the sushi is possibly buffering elsewhere. Um, yeah, that's that's a bit of belt. Um, should we give bots some jobs? Do we have? We don't quite have radar range to give bots some jobs, but I think we are also about to give bots some jobs because we are going to be arriving at the mixed build with copper and we'll have things for them to... Like, it would be good if we could arrive and plug this into a mixed build, which is going to look like this and then we also need to do some more copper rearrangement but that's fine where is this here is where it will line up with and then some things we need to reorganize uh, some of this we need to reorganize but we can do that later uh, some of this will and then this section can we just uh, not do that. Can we spin this around? Maybe. Here, and then... Uh, that is going to be the iron pattern that we need to get the iron in when it arrives. So... We can have bots working on... We can just blueprint all of it. Um, okay, we've got... We need to kind of take the other splitter as well, which means we're going to clip the rubber ports out later. Those two rubber ports don't need to exist. Where's my car? Car is in the middle of that. Of course it is. So bots have got things to build. We're moving belt around the place. Uh, we've got another 800... Another 800 belt is not going to be enough belt to get the rest of these five lanes of copper into the mix build. And we're probably just complaining about EM modules. So I think we guess we do two of these at a time. I thought we were doing well with preparing the amount of... Okay, we don't actually need to go that far, do we? Because... because the copper lanes are not that close to the iron. Um, how far are we going to get? Uh, we're going to demolish more of this forest, which is fine, because we also have nuclear power. This was, once again, somewhat a reasonably well-organized run up until the point of needing to do all the outposting. Um, and then just deciding on what kind of defensive pattern we wanted did take quite a while. Um, and we're kind of building over some of that. It's fine. Uh, we're going to put this one in here. Uh, we're actually going to split this into two because we still have a bit of time to make all that work. So we've got another 234 belt. I wasn't really expecting to have that much. It didn't actually really have a good feel for how much belt we were going to use there. Uh, maybe this means... I think we work on getting another four lanes back. Um, yeah, getting, getting this to a total of four lanes. Because the thing we really need at this point are... Blue chips. Blue chips and LDS and this tree not in the way. An hour left doesn't make me feel great about it. Okay. Um, that's that done. Go and get more belt from the mall. Have a lot of blinking happening. Um, these guys are outside of Roboport range, but are also super inside flamethrowers. Maybe we're okay. I think if we can get the... The mixed build online quickly enough and all of the steel is doing a thing all of that mixed build we've got a ton of space for it we need to be making more plastic as well that's definitely a thing but we've also got full nearly full chests of yeah nearly full chests of 
give me this belt. Give me this belt. Yeah, that's going to be enough belt. We've got nearly full chest of green chips, which we can also just empty into the blue chips when we get around to that part of it. Are we not... Why are we not making more... You're not getting steel. Okay. I thought we kind of had that under control. We kind of didn't. Um, we are making one stack of those things now. Oh, I've, I've got them. Um, bots can have these things. It's fine. Oh, I probably need to upgrade some more of those as well. But also, whatever. Um, yeah, purple science is ticking along. I guess that's kind of okay. We're getting some of this copper through now, which is also nice. Uh, and we also missed one of the, um, yeah, we've done kind of weird things with this. Yeah, not having enough belt to go outposting is often a thing that is a bit of an issue for speedruns. Uh, then one of these guys can go, yeah, sure, whatever. because we actually wanted one of them to be over there, but we didn't, never mind. Um, get out of my inventory. Where's my car? Uh, my car is on a slip spot. Okay, um, this coal we also needed to branch, um, but we're going to, we should now have enough belt to get the last of this copper in. And then we, yeah, we've got more copper to mine later anyway. Um, and then the fact that not all of these belts are full is, you know, not somewhat a concern, but not a huge deal, because we also have the buffers, and because we've already done so much with the other little copper outpost, um, that we are not really in a position of needing... Uh, okay, sure, don't know quite how we did that. Um, but we are in bot range, so this copper just wants to sneak in here. And we will have outposted all of the copper. Uh, ne you know, nearly enough-ish, I guess. Um, these guys don't have power bolts. That was interesting. Um, so where also is there the storage chest over here somewhere that is got all the wood in it? Yes. This storage... I think we just grab the storage chest. I don't think we need to be storing anything by these walls anymore. And it'll fit, so that's fine. Um, so, other things we wanted to do included... We need to make more plastic somewhere as well. And for that, we're going to use this coal, uh, which we're not going to split there, because maybe we want to do another side of that steel later, because we do have resources to play with. So I think we're going to cut it here. We're going to put this feed back and then yeah this is gonna go come on things things that would be easier to do if we weren't wondering about exactly how much time we had left it's probably fine okay coal through here uh coal through is it easy to get the Whereabouts, so the red... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the best place to do plastic is. And I think we probably still... These guys are still not powered. Okay, are bots just not having power poles? Bots not having power poles. Bit of a shame. Um, are we all, we're all still running? Yeah, we're all still running. We've got all of the nuclear power we need. We've got all 700 efficiency modules in our miners. Why was I coming this way? I was coming this way to drop the power poles off, to drop the wood off over here, because I think this is the reason why we don't have the power poles. So we have now automated the power poles, um, and then we need... Um, do we have 1.8k? Uh, yeah, that is enough of that left over. We need some more plastic builds. Uh, we need basically three three half lanes of this stuff. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of space there, isn't it? Especially if we're doing... Yeah, 
especially if we are doing tier three assembler stuff. Um, so bots can hopefully get all of this built. Uh, we have, we're out of light oil. Uh, yeah, okay, we're out of light oil because we are filled up on gas and also we're not using any of the solid fuel. But also we don't really care because we've got a ton of that stuff and we do have also a lot of gas, which is the thing we wanted to do here. Uh, probably we should put a pump here as well. In fact, let's go do that. Uh, let's have, yeah, get these guys out of the way, but have one of these tanks here. We've got a couple of pumps. Pump in there, pump out there. Uh, pipe and pipe, and now we've got a kind of gas supply into what should be the plastic build. And we've got a belt of plastic for... We've got a belt of... We will eventually have a belt of plastic for... LDS, and then also this coal is in the wrong place. Uh, let's power that on. And that belt of coal that we kind of ran through, uh, we did we not have build range on this? Do bots not have undergrounds? That is not what I expected. Why do bots not have undergrounds? Why do I not have fuel? Problems we don't want to have at this point in the run. Um, this was actually where I wanted to go to get rid of the stone and the sticks. Um, why don't bots have undergrounds? Do we not have build range on... We do not have build range. Okay, fine. Um, slight delay on that coal. Oh, well. Uh, and then, yeah, whatever, we don't really need all this space. Um, we might, but we're going to worry about it later. Yep, going through here. So that's going to be the coal connected. We've got, we've got gas in all of these guys. We've got a reservoir of gas elsewhere, but we've also got a pile of stuff. And I suspect also that this crude oil is also just fine. And these guys are attacking. Uh, we haven't burnt down any forest. Have we burnt down... We haven't even burnt down this forest. Disappointing. Um, okay. Let's go and make the rest of this mixed build happen. Uh, we didn't actually plug the iron into this. Oh, well. Um, we can have one of these in... like... here. And the other of these in here. And that's going to be fine. And we've, yeah, we're buffering copper, so it doesn't even... Like, the time we were spending making the rest of this work is why I was not particularly concerned about um, how long it was taking us to make... Like, the fact that the copper coming in wasn't particularly balanced. But never mind. Um, okay, so we need... We want all of these in kind of the same way, but now we've got to do a slightly more sophisticated interface with a belt of plastic, and then we want to... There? Yeah, we want to prioritize in here. Uh, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to prioritize without a filter. Like so. Uh, that's kind of... Okay, we probably... Okay, with this belt here, maybe we actually need to do that with... No, we're just going to... Yeah, we're just... Uh, that's the definitely the easy way to do it. Um, like that. So that's going to be the mixable pattern that we'll get the plastic in, um, which we are still kind of waiting on, so let's plan the rest of the mix build while we're doing that. Where is our red chip layout? Here we go. Some number of these things. Oh, we should take a belt fit as well. Um, not that way, this way. And it goes here, doesn't it? It definitely goes there. Then these things are going to kick out here. We don't actually need... Maybe we need speed modules? Uh, 
Uh, how many have we got? Ten. Uh, we're not. We're going to be in the way of this thing. We're going to need more RoboPort support in the middle, but also fine. I guess if we know we're going to need RoboPort support, then we're going to make a little gap here that will let us put another RoboPort in. Some of them, but not all of them. It's fine. Um, we want 14. We want to start with 10, but we're going to leave space for 14. Uh, but we're not going to actually put the assemblers in, because I don't think we need it. Um, do we actually have... Yeah, we can just go straight to... Okay, we do want... We kind of... We should have... Yeah. We should have done the modules first. Or at least saved space for the modules first. Because uh, the rest of those we don't need to worry about till later. Um, plastic is... Yeah, this built here. Also going to do this from the map. Uh, we have... Yeah, that's all just belt delay. And so now we have plastic, and eventually, and these guys want to be, uh, put them in the right place will help. I think we just go directly to speed modules. I think we already have all the prod mods we need. Uh, we're going to leave space for more of these as well, and then not actually build them. And then, oh yeah, things that are pretty important. Um, those, those are pretty important. And then also... I think we just start with two on blue chips for reasons. Uh, and then we want, yeah, we want the power. And then we want this side of stuff like here. Uh, but we are going to leave more space for blue chips because we are thinking about still upgrading these later. Uh, so we're going to leave a little more space. Uh, do we have, we need the acid from somewhere. I was going to put a tank of acid down, didn't we? Um, and we didn't, and instead the acid is here. That, that's a pipe that's facing... Wow, did I actually... I accidentally left all of this space. And it fits through here really, really well. We're going to take that. That is not necessarily what we expected, but fine. Bots also should be able to build all of that. And then we should have... Oh yeah, we wanted prod mods. Where is a car? Do I have... Okay, so I guess we're driving around with coal now. Uh, where are prod mods? Here are... Yeah. And we're going to go to straight to blue chips with bigger productivity bonuses. So that is definitely the plan there. Oh, also, we don't need the coils all the way up here. Uh, thanks for your enthusiasm, though. And then we need, uh, yeah, we just need to copy that mix build now. Um, this much of this thing, we've got the acid mixed build time. Uh, we don't have RoboPort coverage in the middle, but that's also kind of why we have uh, these power poles in an inconvenient place. Never mind. Um, power pole, yeah. This one can also move to here. We can have a rubber port there. We now have rubber port coverage over everything, even though we don't necessarily have build range over everything, but it's also fine. Uh, we also kind of missed out some of like this section of the thing. Never mind. Uh, it's not too hard to get in the right place. I could see me messing that up, as I said, not too hard to get in the right place. And then we also need a couple more speed modules. We need one more simpler two. Uh, we need to get the red chips down here, and this is, yeah, okay, this was the the bot not having build range on all that stuff. Um, so, that is pretty fine. We are okay with that overall. We're going to get blue chips at some rate. I don't know if we're going to get blue chips at the rate of... Uh, yeah, we're just going to salvage all of this for LDS steel at the moment. I don't know if we're going to get blue chips at the rate that we need to be able to launch a rocket in 40 minutes. Um, but, I mean, at least, yeah, we're not also we're also not saving silo steel anywhere. Uh, I think that's enough of these guys. Uh, we probably needed to get, yeah, to do that differently. Uh, we've got the, yeah, these are fine. Oh, we've got, we've got 500 steel over here. This is nice. And then we also wanted... Hey, we, we got an achievement for rate of iron plate production. That's nice. We also turned flamethrowers back on. We also don't need, yeah, 
all of 48 flamethrowers. I guess we do have that many flamethrowers after all. Um, give me some of these, because... And then do I have... I think I had coal. And we can just get this casual steel still going. And then we also wanted a couple more assembler threes. Uh, yes, we did actually want a bunch more assembler threes. Because we needed them for the LDS and the RCUs as well. That is what that plan is going to do. Um, are you short on... You're short on things because of... Interesting. I guess we're still... I guess we still also just dropped a whole pile of belt out, and so we are still trying to make a ton of belt, uh, because... Yeah, because... Okay, no, we're done with that belt. Okay, I don't know what the deal is. Um, okay, with this stuff filling up, I did have one idea for managing the sushi, if we're having a lot of copper falling through, and we are. And the idea is to limit that to uh, whatever one inserter will do. So we're not going to get all of this copper falling through, which is going to be the plan to moderate that sushi up a bit. Um, the other thing we wanted to do, actually, is it's not going to be too difficult, although we do have plastic on the inside, which is going to be a little bit of a nuisance. Why do we not have... Should we not have this stuff running yet? Oh, we just haven't built... We just haven't built the rest of it. Uh, sure. Bots, bots with jobs? Bots with jobs. Um, yeah, let's go and build the rest of the LDS, because that is also the thing we need to do to get the blue science online pretty quickly. Uh, I think we're going to salvage some of these assemblers and presume that we don't need them. Yeah, we've got to do the RCUs at some point as well. Uh, all of these red chips. Uh, do we have any particular plans for these red chips? I don't know that we do at the moment. Oh, well. Um, silo things we need. Yeah, because we were going to... Maybe, yeah, okay, maybe we do just throw in a third of these things in each place now. Because that's what we will use the... Like, we're going to use the other stash of these green chips, uh, which we can get to by... Yeah, this, this belt here will let us... Okay, if we had undergrounds, which we don't. Uh, this will let us ingest the rest of those green chips into this process. Um, I think we have... I think we already have too many red chips for the number of modules we have. So I think we're just going to do like this speed module hack as well and pretend that that's fine and yeah we just need to turn up and box all these things um we still don't have undergrounds um cool that was a thing i was complaining about the last time bots didn't have this stuff going on okay so i guess we do it this way um yeah we need to get the lds running for which we have this copper so we have this copper uh, we have uh, Assembler 3s. Yes, we were going to do this with beacons as well, weren't we? Um, I guess we can do it just here. Uh, yeah, sure. Where, where though? Here? No, it was going to be on... It's going to be something like this, wasn't it? Do we have prod mods? I have a couple of prod mods. Um, and then we can go... Yeah, like this. And then this can be a belt of steel and plastic. Uh, we can put stuff... Here, we are going to also do it like this, so we have space for a beacon. Uh, this belt of copper can go through here, and then I guess we can do a weird kind of uh, beacon space there, yeah. Uh, I have done no math on exactly how much of that we need. And we probably also want... You guys are out of prop mods. Um, do we have... We have 1.3k. We've got all of the purple signs we need. It's fine. Um, this wants to go this way. This wants to go over here. We also need beacons. This is a plan that's supposed to have beacons in it. Um, and then... Steel is going on the inside of the belt. Input priority right. And then... Plastic going on the outside of that belt, uh, which is what we've got this belt of plastic for here. 
hey, planning, um, let's also, yeah, we need to be boxing that stuff, and we are not. The mixed builds are currently a little bit unhappy. Um, and then also we should connect that, and that should be, other than the fact that the bots don't have, um, okay, other than the fact that the bots don't have these tier 3 assemblers, um, that should get a bunch of that stuff kind of running. Um, will it maybe? Uh, kind of not, because we also still need to give these a way of getting out. And then also we should get the blue chips, which is, yeah, we've got so much space for, I guess, an RCU build is the thing we need to do. Um, yeah, get these guys over here. Um, let's have... Let's have red chips is going to be a thing we want. We also want to get speed modules on the right. We also want to get blue chips on the left. And I can't think of anything that's coming out of this mixed build at the moment. It's probably fine. Uh, boxes. And then somewhere around the place we have a whole chest full of frames, right? Did I already move? I must have already moved the chest of frames. Um, and then these guys are out of red chips. Uh, okay. I guess that's the manner in which we were moving those red chips around, I guess. We could also just... Yeah, we're not going to, though. Um, then blue chips. Did we have a sushi control for blue chips? We did have a sushi control for blue chips. Okay, fine. Um, I don't think we need to re... Yeah, okay. Sure, whatever. Um, in that case, we're just going to run these blue chips all the way up here I guess is what's going to happen and then these guys are running they are waiting on getting the plastic we also need more assemblers which is fine um, but that stuff is also kind of broke maybe we just I mean maybe we just don't bother with that blue chips feed maybe we just do that and that's going to get some LDS, and we need to beacon that as well. Do we have steel for beacons? Maybe we do, maybe we don't. I've got all... Yeah, I was wondering if I if I had done this already, and the answer is we've got all of those just in my inventory. And then we need to beacon these guys. Uh, do we have prod mods, prod mods, rumble, rumble, grumble, grumble, whatever. Um, yeah, we were going to unload these greens, but I think we're going to first worry about... Yeah, so many green chips. Um... Somewhere down here we've got red chips. Um, this, I do not need that many beacons. Um, somewhere here we've got steel. Where's a place we've got copper? We've got 40 minutes left. The... Yeah, that's going to be... We're going to have a lot of beacons. I think we still need a decent number of tier 3 assemblers. Especially with the RCU still to do. So give me all of these... Yeah, 50 is going to be fine, because we've got a bunch of speed modules. Um, let's go. Beacons into... Yeah, coils into beacons. Uh, we're doing this with some kind of inserter, I guess. Uh, you are going to be beacon... That's not correct at all. You are going to be speed... You're going to be coils, and you are going to be beacons. Then, yeah, just, let's just like, have all the things you might want from my inventory and put them in this provider box this provider box can also have where do I have speed modules? here I have speed modules so that's all nice um, this provider box can have speed modules I've got some blue chips the, the yellow science has blue chips and then we just need to be yeah, getting these tier 3 assemblers running for which I'm pretty sure we had speed modules over here. That's where we got a bunch more of these assemblers. So I guess we're going to slap this into place. And then, yeah, we're just going to module and beacon all of the stuff. Uh, like so. Other places we want beacons include over here. Um, that's probably fine. It's fine. And then these 16 things also just want to be in this box. Um, prod mods are in a box. Speed modules are in a box. We've got some other speed modules down here, probably. We do. And then we also wanted, yeah, we want to get these green chips. Here is, yeah, here is the start of the belt that we were kind of planning. 
and we just have to figure out how this is going to work. Because I think we need to go... Where is an underground that I can queue? Uh, do we... I think we actually have to go... Yeah, I think this is going to be fine. I think we just go through here like so. And then we have... We have a fast inserter here and a fast inserter here. And... This will make sure that any green chip... Yeah, because this is, this is more what I expected. These guys not having enough green chips. And this little trick will dance green chips from this cache into the mix build. And then I've also got some, so you guys have a lot of green chips. You guys have a lot of green chips. Uh, we could beacon this as well, probably. I mean, okay, we've just made a mess there. We can probably no longer beacon that, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so we're making... Um, we need to be powering that. We need to be powering this beacon. That's all probably fine. Um, can we get... Yeah, we want another beacon here. This is silly. Um, do I have things that I can just hand feed? Because we're at a point of not really wanting this stuff in my inventory. It's like probably fine. Uh, we've got a lot of prod mods. We've got some prod mods here. It's apparently fine. Uh, this sushi control we're not using. Maybe we use it later or whatever. No big deal. Um, 15. We do want... I don't actually know how many... I'm kind of in the mode of... Like, yes, we want, yes, we want to be efficient with this stuff, but also, like, no, we don't really need to be, like, I don't want to need to be efficient with these things. Um, let's make some hideous number of RCUs, because we've only got 35 minutes left. Um, did we, is that all we made? Didn't we, didn't we make any more? Disappointed noises. Um, and we also don't have the RCU tech yet, but never mind. But these have all got their prod mods. Uh, this will be a pattern that we are actually not fine with. It's kind of upside down. We kind of want it going... Kind of want it going this way. But it doesn't... I mean, with this, with this mini, it kind of doesn't matter. Um, we should just have... The industry we need to to blast this out and not care like beacons um let's beacon the rcus that's going to be you know a number of nice beacons uh we're gonna do are we gonna do do we even need to do a loop i think at this point we've been slow enough that we have so many other things going on that it's not really an issue at all um yeah Speed module out here, that can go in like so, and then, hey, we got an achievement for making, we got an achievement for making processing units, that's exciting, and um, this only needs to really go that far, and then we can put more beacons on this afterwards, um, is it time to worry about silo steel? We are also, yeah, we are prioritizing, we are using a whole, nearly, nearly two lanes of copper are going into this, which is fine. Uh, we got half an hour left. Maybe we're actually okay. Like, power grid is completely, let's, okay, important thing. Let's check how many fuel cells the nuclear power has. Another five. Okay, so that's maybe a deal. Um, and we've got, we've got another 130, okay, that's fine. Um, all of this, I think we set this RCU's recipe. Why is this not, because it went the wrong way. So yeah, so we need to, we need to blast out. Bots are complaining about not having yeah, efficiency modules. Um, okay, we're on to, we're on to rocket silo. Uh, that also means that this recipe can change to the rocket control units that we want. Um, we've got like a lot of stuff. We can just box these things here. It's fine. Rocket fuel also completely fine. Blue chips. Why blue chips sad? Are blue chips not getting enough red chips? Maybe. 
I think we're going to not make those speed modules. Um, we should be fine. These all say they're working. Okay, whatever. Um, these are item ingredient shortage red chips. It was red chips. So take letting those past probably did help. Um, we're also just going to like the fact that I've got red chips. Like you guys who are complaining about not having red chips shouldn't. Basically, okay. Um, I think we're in a pretty good spot. I think we. Yeah, we've got all these red chips that we kind of don't care about. We've got... Do we... I mean, I think we're just going to... What do we even want to do with another seven beacons? Um, do we have... Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, there was somewhere here. Here was a dirty hand-feeding hack for just pushing more red chips in. Um, and, you know, whatever. We are now, yeah, running down the, that supply of green chips, which is nice. We've got another seven things there. Uh, we're making, we're not making enough RCUs. We needed, I thought we, I thought we set that up somewhere. I thought we were hand feeding speed modules into, yeah, I thought we were hand feeding speed modules into assemblers with a pile of RCUs in them. Um, I just don't, don't think that many, just need like some of these. Uh, this assembler is only a tier 1 assembler, it's not worth saving. Um, yeah, horrible things to say to assemblers. I think also, I think at this point, can we have... Um, do we have... Yeah, we got enough of that left. Uh, I wanted engines, because I reckon we can just go and do a tank thing. What do we need for tanks? Red chips, gear, steel. I'm pretty sure we got all of those things. In fact, I'm pretty sure we just put red chips over here. Um, is that enough? That is enough to make a tank. Let us not handcraft the tank. Handcrafting a tank would be silly. Um, so we're going to get a tank. We're going to. We've got half an hour left to drive over a bunch of dudes. It's going to be fine. These. Did I? Pick, I did pick these up. Okay. Um, the. This one probably also wants to be. Thing, have the rest of these speed modules, and then, yeah, we're going to get the rest of the RCUs online. I've still got a pile of stuff in my inventory that I don't really want, including, yeah, just like, slam it into machines anywhere, no big deal. All of this stuff also wants to be over here. Oh, hey, you know what else we should, we should beacon? We should also beacon the labs. That's kind of why they've got this space in them. Um, I don't think... I don't think we're making yellow science. I don't think... It doesn't look like we're making blue chips at... Oh, that was silly. Um, we, we're not looking... doesn't look like we're making blue chips at the rate of what we need. Um, but also, that's all... That's all fine. We can have some more beacons over here if we want. Do we want? Let's... Let us want. We are, at this point, declaring ourselves rich. Um... Yeah, I think what we're going to do is, like, I think this... I don't know that we are fully getting as much copper in as we could. So we're going to do that. Right, right. Also, this buffer is going to run down. And we also still do have this buffer to empty as well. Um, so... Uh, lane balance that... That was not a good lane balancing. That was a lane balancing fail. Okay, so now we're going to get some of this copper in here as well. It's going to be fine. We're still buffering this. We've got... We don't actually have... Let's just make sure we quietly rescue an appropriate amount of silo steel. Yeah. That's going to be the thousand steel we need for the silo. Somewhere we have a tank. Uh, somewhere we are... Yeah, we are researching all of this stuff. Green... Green and red science not keeping up is super interesting. Um, presumably we are... Oh, you know what we can do? We can turn military science back on, and we can just start making military science. Um, yeah, that is too many... I mean, is it too many furnaces? We are going to want a pile of furnaces later. Uh, let's go back to wall. 
Uh, let's have a chest there and do that. And now military science is turned back on because we've got the copper now. Now that this, like this copper buffer, will just empty, uh, we do kind of need more gear wheels into the red science. So just we're gonna prioritize that. Um, we're gonna make sure that these guys have the gears they need. Uh, we're also we're also still not balanced between green and red science. So now we're balanced between green and red science. That's a thing we just did. Uh, what else don't we... Yeah, I think we just try and get rid of stuff out of our inventory because we're kind of fine. I think we're fine. Maybe this still goes badly wrong. Um, get a tank. Put a tank on the hot bar. Uh, hey, we got the second achievement for making a lot of... Oh, yeah, that's why we, we made a lot more red circuits. Yeah, whatever. Um, we've got the second achievement for making a lot of um, red chips. That's nice. We've got 26 minutes left. I wanted to... Why do we not... Yeah, these guys are still running. It's fine. Uh, that was poles in the wrong place. These guys are output full. We are waiting on... Oh, light oil. Um, light oil is a thing we can solve. We can just go, hey, we've got a picture that looks like cracking here. Maybe we can just crack a little more of that as well. Uh, and, you know, whatever, it's going to be fine. Uh, this belt, we were now thinking about where we were going to put... Uh, basically, where, where all of these rocket parts are going to go. And we're just going to have, I guess not there, I guess it's going to come in a bit. And then this is going to move to here, and then, yeah, sure. Uh, we also don't have, do I have beacons? I've got a couple of beacons. I also don't have, we're not getting all the blue chips we want. Um, but I think, maybe, I don't know if we've made all the blue science we want yet either. Um, but... Yeah, I, I mean, we can just check the right. How much blue side... Pur blue? Purple? Um, we have, in fact, made very nearly enough. So I reckon we just... Tap all the blue chips in there. You're going to need a buffer for that, because that's at the rate of... That's at the rate of RCUs. And then let's also create ourselves... A little buffer of LDS, because uh, that's going to be how that works. All of that's still running kind of fine. Do I still have... I don't have these beacons. Oh, well, you guys don't have these beacons either. What do you need? You need you need steel. Um, I'm pretty sure we had steel. There were a couple of places that this kind of mess of steel was turning up, and then you guys had... Yeah, we're going to have more beacons. That's, that's a thing we can do. Okay. Um, the other reason I wanted to move the rocket fuel around, the other reason I went over to the rocket fuel... Um, and I reckon we just want to go, hey, can I have this rocket fuel? Why are we... Okay, it was when we blocked... It was when we blocked the... Um, yeah, it was when we did that underground. Um, okay, so we have... We haven't really cut blue science. We've cut blue. We've cut the blue chips from blue science. Uh, we've got the rocket solo finished. We don't really need anything else. Is there anything else we need? Let's just. I mean, things we're eventually going to want. Um, was there a nest that was giving us a couple of problems? Um, these, I guess, these nests, because we are up to big biters, and I think it is going to be over here because we kind of wanted to pick up these landmines, and we also kind of have some efficiency modules. Uh, we are still just... Uh, we need... Okay, do we at least have silo steel over here? No. Okay. Um, in that case, we can also fit this kind of silo steel package uh, kind of over here. Because this is going to be where we close to where we build a silo. Um, I would still like to get the tank achievement, and I'm pretty sure that we are. We haven't done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we have not done as many RCUs as we need. Uh, where are RCUs? Why can't I find RCUs? 
270, yeah. We are we are a while away from having enough RCUs. We are a little while away from having LDS as well. Rocket fuel is fine, but was always going to be fine. Um, these speed modules... Speed modules? These are not speed modules. These are efficiency modules. Uh, we came over here to put these over here, but also we came over to here to grab landmines so that when we transitioned into a rocket-powered tank... Uh, we have a couple more tools to deal with biters that are attacking us. Because this is this is actually pretty safe. This is fine. Uh, but we still want to, because we're a bit of a maniac, it would be cool if we could... Okay, I guess we're doing that with grenades because the turning circle is a bit of a mess. Um, it would be nice if we could crash into some... Yeah, I don't really want to lose a tank. It would be nice if we could crash into some spawners. Uh, do I have? I've got three repair packs. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, because this is going to clear things out a bit. We've got 20 minutes to play with. Um, mostly this is about getting the... This is actually going to be super spicy, isn't it? Because that already wasn't a very big base. And we took like half tank damage. And then we've also got these larger bases. And so we're going to try and prep a, a landmine wall that we can run a bunch of dudes into. So that then we can come in and kind of clip one of those guys there and clip that one and also do landmine stuff. And that was that was close. I, that, was, that was pretty sketch. I was like, I saw the gap. I wondered if I could hit the gap. We turned out to hit the gap. I don't think we need all that many spawner kills here, though, do we? And I think... Like, we've also got the landmines just to be able to clip large portions of this off, uh, like so. And then... Uh, you know what we should research? We should research explosive damage. Yeah. Um, we should research that instead of space science, because we've kind of cut... We don't have enough purple science for that, and we've also kind of cut yellow science. Um, so, can we get in here and also just hit... Yeah, okay. We, we need to go and repair this now. Uh, are there some other landmines that we can just drive over? Yeah, we're fine. Um, okay. I don't think these bots have repair packs, though. So we're going to be able to sink two repair packs into this tank. Because that's... Oh, we've got three repair packs. Okay. Um, and we've got 300 landmines left. We've got 15 minutes. Um, I think we're boxing steel for silos in a couple of places. We aren't actually boxing blue chips anywhere, are we? But we also are completely safe from these poor fools. But also banging blue chips out pretty effectively, I think. Yeah, because we've got all those green chips happening. We've got the rocket fuel over here. We are um, buffering. Yeah, we're, we're, getting, we're getting there. And then RCU's LDS is also going pretty well. Some of this might spill into the yellow science build. Don't really mind. Um, sure. This is fine. We got another 19 minutes. Um, yeah, and this is, I mean, this is at this point like the nuclear power. We do not need to be worrying about these achievements yet, but I want to. And oh yeah, that was the other thing I was going to do just quickly. It was going to be get the deletion planner for ghosts. Because there's a lot of junk around the place. And then I guess we're not doing anything with pipe at the moment. And then one of these doesn't... This is the one without a landmine, so we're not going to use that again. Is that true? Maybe? I mean, I guess we can use the same deletion planner. Um, and there's... Yeah, this is just one spawn left. We need to not hit the water. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a... Okay, that one is going to be a bit of a pain... Um, I guess we go south. Uh, get rid of the ghosts. That's gonna be that's gonna be completely fine. Um, yeah, we've got more copper that we can add. We've got 18 minutes left at this point. I am. Oh yeah, that's a thing we're doing. Um, a thing that I've just remembered that we probably need to do because the base might die. Is we've got a rocket-powered car, which is nice. Uh, we're going to go get some more nuclear fuel, because all of that is still hand-fed, 
and without me wandering over here to do this by myself, there is no way that the nuclear reactors will get the fuel they need to keep everything running, which is pretty important, and had I not remembered it, might have been a pretty hilarious way that the base could have died. Um, but also it would have been pretty easy to get back because like none of none of the defensive patterns do we have we still have iron we still have quite a lot of iron okay um, none of the defensive patterns really uh, we've got a lot of speed modules um, we can actually we don't have the prod mods to begin this harder um, but we can get those guys going a little faster because we are not limited by yeah it does not look like we are limited by processing just centrifuge well, yeah fuel fuel construction just centrifuging okay so this is all our territory i reckon we've done pretty well in the seven and a bit hours uh we need to yeah even if even if we forgot to fuel the nuclear build uh let's not crash into anything that's important um why are you is it military science it's military science and red science okay that's fine um, yeah, even if we did kill the base and the power grid by running out of nuclear power, um, I'm pretty sure we would still be fine because the defenses are either landmines or flamethrowers, depending on which bit we're looking at. And then, what are we going up here? This is not up here at all. Um, the defenses are either flamethrowers or landmines, both of which have been fine, and... Um, this is, I mean, it was already a hand fueling plan, so the fact that we would come back through here and just put both of those in, um, they were, they were completely out. That is, that is pretty spicy. Um, that, that was the last moment that that was going to work. Pretty funny, I like it. Uh, what else do we, I mean, do we do some train things? We don't need, I guess if we're eventually doing rocket launches, we might need that stuff, whatever. We've got 15 minutes. Um, we got 15 minutes to crash into some more nests. Because that's still a thing I would like to do before the rocket. Um, let's also figure out where the blue chips are. And they're here. And also set up a circuit condition to only take blue chips out if there's more than... 220 and that besides any capacity bonuses will be fine i think also we need to not worry about having too many of those things um and us use are also limited by blue chips but we've got almost all of these guys running and we are yeah we're closing in on having enough blue chip um, having enough blue chips having enough us use oh you know what we should do we should definitely get the module up grades running that's definitely a thing we should be doing fortunately we can do that like here pretty easily uh yeah here's a good spot uh have have anything you want from this belt make a bunch of prod mod twos um do i have i've got prod mods over here we actually only need that's more than we need uh we only need we only need 80 and so we're going give to it, give it more than it needs um because that's we're going to give it significantly more than it needs, because that's how we do things around here at the moment. Uh, we, we just plan on having more stuff than we need. In fact, do that quickly. Please. Thanks. Uh, this, this box needs to go here. That was kind of a silly place. Okay. So we've got a bunch of pod mod upgrades happening, and we now want to find maybe another five or six nests. I think we are pretty good for crashing into nests and then i think also i guess this build is going to yeah i think we can take this upper priority off uh and it's just going to back up and fill up those boxes and we're going to be good for steel because the steel is doing you know it's a thing it's fine um do we want to go to the base to the i think this base might be oh this, these bases down they're gonna have bigger worms um those bases i'm trying to figure out which of those bases is going to be the easiest to pick off with a rocket fuel powered tank is basically the entire plan uh because i want to okay a bot is going to be super helpful and try to repair my tank thanks um yeah we've got these these worms which i don't want to 
crash because it's but I like want them gone and then I think we're gonna do the first couple of passes just with the landmines because we don't need to crash into all of these things what we need is enough of these things gone so that we can easily crash into these things I like this one up here and that one hey we got an achievement we have destroyed a bunch of spawners by impact which means unluckily for these guys uh, they just get to explode now um, and then the rest of these we don't need. Okay, it's fine. Um, let's go and worry about... Okay, these guys are going to chase me. And I'm worried that if we just run around the spot that we haven't really defended, then they might run into the, like, over the top of this thing, which we have not actually defended particularly well at all. Um, hey, we've got some bullets. That's a thing a tank can do. Um, I don't think we're going to need to do that again. Uh, we've got a silo. Let's go. Let's go build a silo. Let's go build a silo. Let's go upgrade some modules to prod threes because we haven't done that yet either. Um, I don't think we... Um, okay, that I think accidentally just cut the power to the copper mining post and possibly more things as well. Uh, is it? Yeah, we, we just cut the power to the copper outpost. Um, but it is, it is a spot that is also just inside, because this is all, that's all main base, it's all main base Roboport now. So the bots will, will put that power pole back, it should be fine, we're complaining about, yeah, not just, there's a bunch of stuff, it's pretty normal, um, let's maybe not cruise in here with the tank, because it still has a, the stopping distance that's given us a little, yeah, there, there's, there's the little robot that's going to recover the... Um, that's going to recover the power for that. Why are we... Are we just at the rate of... I thought we prioritized this in. We did. Are we just... Ah, I get what's happening. This starter iron is running down, and... Um, this is not really something we need to do now, but we're going to anyway. Yeah, this, this starter sushi is not getting enough iron through it, and so not making enough gear wheels to make all of the... Um, what are we stuck on? Um, not make all of the red science that we need. Do we have any gear wheels in here? No, okay, fine. We're just going to do this again, uh, because it's... I mean, ten minutes to go? It's still certainly possible that we could end up botching something here, but we've got, yeah, we've got all of, we don't have enough, I was going to say we don't have enough blue chips, but we also do still have, okay, some of these things are running, we don't have as many blue chips as I'd like, but we still do have, yeah, I mean, we're getting more, we're getting more productivity bonuses, it's fine, um, here is, okay, not there, maybe here. Uh, that's a place where we're going to be able to build a silo, probably. Uh, then we can have all of these things. We can have the LDS over there. Let's run around and pick up the other things we needed. Uh, let's just do a trash box. We already have another trash box over here. We're going to go and find the trash box over here. Uh, I'm sure there was a trash box that had... Maybe it's down here. I'm sure there's somewhere we put, yeah. Burner miners and guns and old power plant we don't need. And most of the rest of that I think stays. Um, okay, let's run around and find... We've got eight minutes left. Let's not mess this bit up. Uh, let's grab all of the steel, which is nearly enough steel, to be honest. Um, let's run down here and grab... Let's do some minor maintenance things we don't need to do now at all and would really feel silly if this run ended up falling apart because of it um but minor maintenance done uh get yeah eight minutes left eight minutes left probably fine given the extent to which we can beacon and speed module everything we need to uh yep yeah. Uh, blue chips, get the electric engines, um, wait, what, why, I thought I 
turned. Oh, because we've got that. We actually have still been polluting quite a lot because of these cheeky fellows, which we are just going to obliterate now because I'm annoyed with them. I don't think that depowers anything, but let's also just be sure. Um, yeah, cool. We actually were not running on nuclear power grid. We actually had, I mean, to be fair, a small proportion because it's because they will split their load with the turbines. Um, and the turbines were probably just taking more of it because we've got more turbines doing more turbine things. But whatever, let's find the electric engines. Seven minutes, probably fine. And we also needed pipe and a bit more steel. Uh, but I am pretty sure that... Okay, uh, let's put this back here and do that. Because we can just turn on these things again. I don't think we really need more of them, but we might, whatever. Uh, and then we also don't need this stack of electric engines in the same way. Uh, we already cut flank throwers, so that's fine. We've got even more speed modules, and I think we actually pivot these back to efficiency and even some prod mods because, yeah, we do not need that many speed... I guess we're launching other rockets is a thing that's going to happen. Um, these guys probably can go to their threes, whatever. Uh, here we want all of that stuff. This can lose the... Okay, that wasn't what we wanted, uh, but it's still going to achieve the general effect of losing the circuit condition. Um, pipe and more steel. Didn't we have here? Yeah, we had we had this little box of steel over here doing a thing. Uh, we've got one more beacon, which means that that little shape of beacons is done. Over here we've got some pipe and we can now very carefully not handcraft a silo. Uh, we can instead craft the silo this way and then I don't think we need any of these parts and I don't think we need any of these drone frames and then I don't think we need any of the steel. I think we had a steel yeah, this was steel ingestion. Um, this here was red chips ingestion. Um, we probably should have... Yeah, we've got way more than we need. It's fine. Just turn this into prod mod 3s. Thanks. Uh, this silo wants to go here and is being hit by all of these beacons, so that's fine. And then this kind of pattern we just want in multiple places for multiple things and I haven't actually checked that we have made enough of all of the items. Uh, hopefully we have because that would be pretty silly if we had not. Uh, we can have some more beacons in here. Let's not power the silo yet. We have not powered the silo yet because we also don't have... Uh, not there. We also don't have the prod mods in it, so powering the silo pretty bad. Are these guys all full? These guys are in fact full. That is hilarious. I think that means we just run it in here and then have a splitter here that says blue chips on the left and then just run. Maybe we still do need RCUs. I don't, I don't think we need RCUs. I'm just going to do that. Uh, give me this LDS, and then also slide this LDS underground a bit. Uh, and then buffer this LDS over here instead. That's going to be fine. Um, we did, yeah, we did set that to unload. Um, and then this is all just... Oh, and we, we unpacked two of those copper buffers to do that. That's pretty exciting. And then we've still got other copper buffers to lean on for other things. Um, these give give me all of this stuff and then we just want to move it over here do we have we have four prod mod threes uh, we would like specifically this power pole to exist so that we can start making the the stuff, but then we also want bots to bring that one, and it's probably fine. And yeah, it looks at this point like we have all of the things we likely need to be going to space. Let's continue with um, explosive damage. Coverex, I guess. Coverex is a pretty good one. We're going to be needing that at some point. 
Uh, we got three minutes of this left. We've got a fish. Where is somewhere that we can have... We can give this fish... Where did I just saw the fish? It's on my hotbar. Why can I not see the fish here? Can we give the fish directly to insert? No. Can we give a fish to the ground? Auto launch with cargo. Uh, this inserter should be able to put this fish in the silo as soon as we finish crafting it. Uh, which is still... Yeah, we've got so much stuff. Um, let's actually check that, like, I'm pretty sure we've made enough RCUs and all of that. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a second rocket. We're going to go straight from first rocket into second rocket, uh, which is going to be a waste because we actually don't have... We actually don't have the science, like, built. Like, we don't have, like, launching a second rocket no real point because we're not putting satellites up yet um but we are yeah we're gonna launch a rocket we're gonna launch a rocket we are going to achieve lazy bastard we're actually we've actually only got about a minute left we kind of messed around doing like a lot of whatever uh this and certain no longer wants to exist um and yeah we can now we can now very soon be able to handcraft things and we are going to continue on the just like, I guess, stabilizing. There was a lot of mess. We've got so long for thanks for all the fish. We've got without a spoon. We've got it in slightly under eight hours, but we did also mess around and do a bunch of other things that we didn't really have to, like uh, nuclear power, hitting things with tanks, uh, yeah, assembler threes. Um, yeah, and we've got also enough rocket components to just start all of that running again in fact i think we probably need to figure out how to get more blue chips and put more blue chips into all of this yellow science and just make that work again but we are like we are largely automated i think we're in a pretty good spot to not worry about any of those things anymore we can also use logistic robots again yeah we've got a bit of a mess of a base though i think next time we're going to be just tidying stuff we just need to do some tidying um but until then yeah Lots, lots of good times. Lots of things happened. Uh, achieved, achieved the difficult thing of launching the rocket on a death world, with mostly a desert world, with like quite a lot of defenses, um, probably a pollution cloud that is, probably not as bad as it could be because nuclear power and efficiency modules, and yeah, just more, more other different things next time while we are researching the Coverex enrichment project. Sure, but normal, normal things happening normally.